Basic probability. Probability expresses how likely an event is to occur. Like picking a block out of a bag. Is it likely to be a red? When rolling a dice, is it likely to be a two? Probability is typically expressed as a percent or as a fraction. For example, a 40% chance of picking a red block or a one in six chance of rolling a two. Probability can be based on an experiment. And we call this experimental probability. For example, here's a table of someone doing an experiment of pulling blocks out of a bag and putting them back in. Three times a red block was pulled out and put back in. One time a blue block was pulled out and put back in, and so on. Find the experimental probability of each based on the actual experiment. The probability of pulling out a blue, one out of 17. So with all of these experiments, or some sort of collected data, you need to have your total. Remember that probability is expressed as a fraction or as a percent most of the time. Probability of choosing a green would be 1, 2 out of 17. Probability of choosing a red or a blue would be 1, 2, 3, 4 out of 17. What about the probability of not pulling out a white block? Well, there's 17 blocks, five times, 17 tries, excuse me, five times we chose a white. So 12 times we did not pull out a white block. We call this the complement of an event, is the probability that the event will not happen. Probability can also be based on what you think might happen. We call this theoretical probability. For example, a dice has six sides. It could land on a one, two, three, four, five, or six. It's just as likely to land on a two as a four. So we say the probability of landing on a two would be written one out of six. The theoretical probability of rolling one dice, of, of rolling a one, would be one out of six. Probability of rolling a three would be one out of six. What about the probability of rolling a 2 or a 5? That would be 2 out of 6, and remember to reduce, 1 out of 3. The probability of not a 5 would be 5 out of 6.